Hey, jeez! Welcome back to my My Hero Academia reactions. We're now season 6, episode 10. And last time, after the Wyoming smash, that was super cool, we also got, got the thing where the, the freaking Shigaraki's supposed to be dead, right? He's basically burnt to a crisp thanks to Endeavor. But now, it seems that All For One has taken over his body. Okay, so I've been mulling this over for the past week. And uh, I was wondering why there was a flashback with Baoko saying that Oh, Deku Squirk is basically the same as all for once. I get the feeling that we're supposed to think that because it was passed on through uh, all for one, there's a possibility that all for one has some connection or po uh, power over one for all. I get that feeling. I'm not entirely sure though. But um, there's also the obvious one where, uh, similar to Deku, um, there's a there's a spiritual connection between the past holders, so all for one probably has that connection with the quirk as well within Shigaraki. But then there's also the fact that wouldn't that mean that at some point there's a possibility that someone might take over Deku's body? I kept saying that uh, when Deku gets really mad, I'm scared. I'm kind of scared of what will happen when Deku gets really mad. So. I think we're just gonna watch this and it looks like they was gonna get really mad so uh, it's gonna be two versions of this reaction video burps I always burp around this time I don't know why picture-in-picture <laughs> uh, -picture version which you can find in the description below and a timer based version which you're watching right now if you want to see a bit more to the timer based version you can do that on the 5 second countdown it's gonna count number 5 because that's what they do and it's yours the same for me in my videos as well I'm just gonna give you a moment alright timer I'm just gonna I, give me a moment give me a moment uh, Japanese, English. This is Stan Rice and Safe Leaf, so yeah. Let's do this. Timer! Kaboom! Also, Deku is all sorts of messed up right now. Bao had some really good moments in the last episode. Yeah, it's All Might, so... Let's do it! La Soja! It is so good! La Soja! Prominence! Ban! You know, I got a really mean comment from the la from Beatshoot and this from my last episode. But, uh... I should have made a video out of it. I had so much to say about it because it's, I found it kind of stupid. <laughs> and there we go. The correct that All For One always uses. Okay, uh, if you're watching this in a PAP, check out the YouTube channel. That's where the discussions are. I usually talk about this at least 20 minutes long for like uh, theories and all that. And I also sometimes go into uh, just what I think about the episode itself. I try my best to avoid saying that, oh, that thing happened. It's so cool. But sometimes it, it happens, <laughs> still. <laughs> so yeah, uh, thank you to the Patreon things at the beginning and end. None. Talking. Okay, what else do I want to see? I want this to be a Deku-centric episode. I want this to be Deku versus all, either All For or Shigarari, I don't know what to call it now. Okay. Mm demo, you know it's in there. Nah, me dog do they ego I can't do it. <laughs> it's too fast. I deleted the mean comment. I should have made like a like an actual video about it. <laughs> like monetize everything. <laughs> the channel isn't even monetized and I say it that. Use it for clout! <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's see what happens. Bow! Yep, yep. Yeah. That happened. I forgot about that part. Bow got hit. Oh god. I hope Bow. Bow should be okay, right? No, no, someone catch him! Catch on him, haha, <laughs> sorry. Um. Let's 
it's your will. Hmm. Huh. Yeah. Yep, that's yeah, that's what I'm scared of. Yeah. Do you have control right now, Deku? Yeah, oh, it's similar to what's happening because uh Shigaraki has no control right now. She still has hair. Yeah, I'm impressed. What was that? Oh boy! Oh boy! He just bit the Oh my god! Don't take it! Don't take it! Hey, he woke up! Yeah, she got out now? Are we going inside one for all again? Ooh, that is an image. Um, do you still not have your mouth? Uh, that is... Look at his abs. Sorry. <laughs> yes, a lot more of his uh, physicality here, huh? Oh, no, we're in all for one. Oh, that is an image, like, to show control as well. Wow. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's a uh, Nana. Oh, okay. The ones within us. Oh, oh, oh. There's gonna be an internal battle. Okay. Oh yeah, Machia is still unstoppable. NHA instead of NHK, haha. <laughs> what? Okay. Okay. Hmm. Those those guys look like very generic heroes. A lot of them. <laughs> like these guys, except for Nejire, maybe Nejire. Yeah. Oh, he's fast! Ah, oh, yeah! Oh, so is it shorter to follow them? Yes! Shorter to follow them, maybe. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nature approves. Hmm. Hmm. What's up? Oh, a smoke? Okay. I thought it was just weird lighting for a second. Mm hmm. Oh, oh, I just realized why. Why her name is Nana. Really? Really? <laughs> Because she's the seventh holder. Transfers. Yeah. That is a possibility, yes.
Why is it his eyes that are blocked out? Okay. Ha. Huh. Oh, Lord Drop. Yeah. That is a debatable thing, but yes, it is uh, found in the real world. Oh, wow. That's your grandma. <sighs> that is such an image. I didn't even get the full image of that immediately. Took me a moment. Ah, yeah, okay. You kind of know partly of that. Yes, yeah, the thing. Uh. <laughs> what did you ask? Opa chan. Wait, we're decaying. An astral plane or sorts, like a, like a, like a plane of thought. <laughs> oh, <to. laughs> oh, yeah, hate everything and everyone. The, the little brother really looks like Shigaraki a bit, huh? Nice. Okay. Hmm. I don't think he wants to though. Use the force! Sorry. Okay. I don't need, I'm not even a big Star Wars geek. Um, yeah. Like his master? Aha, uh -huh. like his ma- uh, I'm still stuck with the like his master. <sighs> Is All Might do something like that? What's that little thing there? I didn't read it, sorry. Um, fan subs, yay. Yes, you will. Ooh, two, two, all the lights, all the lights. Eight. It's making sound. Okay. 
What? Oh, 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 we're reverting back. It's backwards. Nice, okay. Everything about Deku is broken. And so is Shikarami. You can still move, really? Yep. Hmm. Hmm. All for one, of course. <laughs> With the hmm, hmm. Toga. I want to see some Toga. I like Toga. She's fun. <laughs> It's a fun character. Anyways, um... I think the giant is moving into a, literally just a straight line. 100 kilometers per hour? <laughs> just destroyed that, okay. Oh, this is before. Okay. Right now? Really? Huh? You like two of them, right? What do you mean? Yeah, it's twisted in a way, but still, it it holds up a tiny bit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's talk about this. <laughs> Her eyes are scaring me. Oh god. As much as I like Toga as a character, she's definitely not someone I want to be friends with. At all. <laughs> oh, just destroy everything. That's what he kind of looks like. A mole. <laughs> and look at these guys. They look so like generic heroes. They oh, and that's a, a seal. That's not very generic. <laughs> Yeah. Nice. I like you, generic hero. Huh. Okay, <laughs> low hair. Oh, she sees a chapel. <laughs> the old man is very uh, easily flustered. Yeah. Doremoi. Anyways, um. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, that is true. Hmm. I'll get killed, Toga. Da.
I think we reanimated that bitch. <laughs> Not entirely sure, but it feels like it. I don't know why, but still. Yes, the Chang has so much control over her quirk now, huh? Also, the jet boots help. Oh no! Oh, I don't think she. I don't think Fabi's gonna die. Oh, that's helpful. Oh no! What if that's Stoga? What if that's Stoga? <laughs> but that is a very real fear that I had, especially in the very first episode where they were talking about the evacuating the people in the hospital. What if some people can't be evacuated? Oh. <laughs> toga! <laughs> Naked Toga at that. Amy, go. Huh. It's like a regular old house. There's a lot of lucky cats there. No electricity running. What are those? Um, this is kind of creepy. Oh, because of season three, really? You consider him a friend now, <laughs> because Izuku looks like the guy you liked back, <laughs> back. Okay. That one didn't feel like it came from every direction. I am also here to stab you. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Hmm. Huh. Catch, not kill. Get it? Okay. Oh, we're done! Fuck. Ah. Let's write something down. Okay. Was, I thought Deku was gonna get even worse. <laughs> uh, I thought Deku was gonna get even worse. <sighs> okay. Is there any new elements added to the ED? Because there's sometimes there's added stuff in it. Like uh Jin and uh Toga, there was that one bit. There was the bit with I can't remember the name. I can't remember the name! What is your name? Bakugo! <laughs> Bakugo and Deku reaching out to each other. There's also that. Happy people, discussions back on YouTube, by the way. I think there's new elements here.
That's all for this episode. Cheek hi! Anyways, I just want to say, if uh, if that is if it's correct, the, the doctor said, I don't think Deku can use his arm anymore after this. We're gonna need something here. So the first thing that came to my mind was literally just Eri. Let's just reset your body a tiny bit to make it so that there's no damage left. But that feels, to be perfectly honest, I don't want Eri to be a Deus Ex Machina. <laughs> I don't want Eri to solve every single problem. Maybe she would solve freaking Mirio's problem and that's all that's gonna happen because I just think Mirio is best boy. <laughs> but other than that, I think... I think... Eh. <laughs> I, 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 I want the show to surprise me. I want the show to surprise me and give me a proper reason as to why Deku can still fight. That'd be really interesting. <laughs> uh, Bakugo is a... Uh, took, took the hit. Noticing that Deku is kind of going berserk and Deku actually went berserk, which is very interesting um, So I saw an image I apparently it's from My Hero Academia I don't know if it's Deku or not, but it's it's from the manga and the eye stuff the eyes here Look very similar to what that image looked like in the manga. So yeah, I don't know Maybe that is supposed to be Deku very later on. Uh, I don't know <laughs> I saw that image because a friend of mine was like, I'm gonna show you something from the manga. It's not a spoiler, don't worry. I was like, how's this not a spoiler? <laughs> my my threshold, my threshold for spoilers is a <laughs> is like everything that is from later bits of the story is a, is a spoiler for me. So I <laughs> so yeah. Uh yeah. That's why I, I kinda make sure that uh, someone other than me checks the comments first before I check it for myself. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, um, Deku looked really badass here though, especially the fact that he bit off the tentacle thingies. Um, that shows that he really doesn't care anymore. There's also the fact that he's probably in so much pain right now that it doesn't matter. That it's so much pain right now, but his anger is what really drives him right now, so that's insane. That's an insane ass image, I like it so much. Also, Shigaraki being basically burnt to a crisp is still not dead. I mean, that makes sense, actually, because uh, I was wondering about this for a while. But why is it that Shigaraki, when, when he received the damage that he received without the regeneration because uh, Razorhead was looking at him, um, what? Uh, excuse me. Why is, why is it that it, he doesn't seem to be as harmed as a regular human? Well, it seems like. It's not considered a quirk, but it's supposed to be that his body is so powerful, very similar to Gigantomachia probably, where uh, his body is just really powerful to the point that he can just hold multiple quirks. Maybe his body is modeled after that, similar again to the Nomus, like it's one of the first explanations that we got in episode, I forgot, 10 or 11 of season 1, where Eraser really tries to erase uh, and succeed in erasing the guys, the Nomus, quirk, but it's still really powerful and can still ta tank a bunch of hits, even from All Might. So, I guess that makes sense. Um, a lot of the episode is actually in some kind of dream space, some kind of plane of thought. And it's really interesting because there's a lot of, the conversation holds, talks about a bit, uh, wow, brain. So, conversation talks a bit about how All For One had dreams of the people that, that about, of the quirks of the people. Of the people whose quirks he's taken. I cannot English today. What the heck? <laughs> um, yeah. Nanashimura... I like that we showcase her more to be a lot more buff in this one. Because um, in some of the flashbacks, it's not as buff like this. But it would make perfect sense that she's very muscular. Uh, all for one giving the explanation that I was trying to figure out earlier in the intro bit. So... It's kind of similar to muscle memories, like uh, if someone were to uh, be amputated of an arm and then get donated another arm, sometimes it has like a, like, like a mind of its own almost, where if, it, if it's playing some kind of sports, it, it's going to be able to hold that kind of memory. It's been observed a few times, but it's not entirely proven because uh, there's not enough champ sample choices to actually conduct a proper experiment that can say that for certain that it actually happens and it's kind of similar to that the way it happens with quirks because as 
say, stated multiple times, quirks are just physical attributes to the human body. It's just, it's just kind of crazy. <laughs> but uh, it's still a, a physical extension of the body. So having, so, so it has similar effects to muscle memory. Gotcha. Okay. Um. I like that her name is literally Nana, and I never figured out that it's Nana Shimura because she's Nan, Nana, the seventh holder. <laughs> I... Toshinori, what does Toshinori mean? Toshinori Yago? Yako? Something like that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it means anything. Not that I can think of right now because I don't really speak, I was about to say Spanish, Japanese. Um, once he gives away the quirks, he actually forgets the stuff. Okay. Well, he actually stops having the dreams. First of all, uh, kudos to Shigaraki for being the super villain, the actual super villain that he is right now. He actually hates his master now. <laughs> it's like, it won't let you take over. Um, to the point that uh, they, they, they didn't even help each other that much to get one for all. Even when, uh, according to all for one, if they were to work together, they can easily get one for all. Okay, I have a dumb question. Um, is the is one is all for one the quirk activated through the hole in his hand? That is such a dumb question because I can't for the life of me imagine it uh, being necessary. But it, but they both have the hole in their hands. I mean, they passed on the quirk, so I guess. But still, it just weirds me out. Um, I wonder. Deku uh, doesn't have mouth and parts of his. It's, it's mostly a sensor for his uh, for his crotch, but still. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if there's any deeper meaning into Deku not having his mouth. I don't know. Um, the image of the lights gathering together and then forming the circle. It's really powerful. And it actually makes a sound without his mouth. Interesting. Um, and then we do this, which is a back row, uh, backwards version of the beginning of the sequence. Very cool stuff. Um, what else did I write down? Okay, that's all the one thing that Shigurai says, and that is that, uh, apparently, all, one for all is the one thing that all for one, this is confusing, never really uh, took into account and has kind of failed at. Which means that part I was kind of right, if that's entirely 100% true. I'm kind of right into thinking that being imprisoned is part of his plan. <laughs> that's gotta be it, right? Being imprisoned is part of his plan. Okay, uh, this this gives me the vibes that at some point Shigaraki is gonna be uh, a good guy. Not really entirely a good guy, but someone that will help us fight all for one. And all for one will still be the biggest opponent that we're gonna face at the very end. I mean, the manga's not finished, so I guess. But uh, that's just how it feels right now. It would be interesting, but uh, there needs to be a lot more character progression and development within Shigaraki before we get to that. There's gonna be a few more arcs before that. Because Shigaraki is hateful, right? That's the thing, the symbol of fear is that he's hateful towards everyone and everything. And I think one of the first things that we need to do is actually understand that where Shigaraki is coming from and actually process all of those emotions. Okay. Because when you think about it, it all stems from one key, no, it's not just one key trauma, but a huge amount of trauma to stem from his childhood. So, yeah. He's redeemable in a way but i would like it if it's um uh if he decides to be a good guy that at some point he's also going to be imprisoned and he just accepts it kind of similar to uh who's, i was i was gonna say gentle but gentle didn't really commit any heinous crimes he just kind of messed around with people he's just a prankster <laughs> and so yeah uh, it's not him who else who else uh, uh i don't know if it's canon but the one from world heroes movie the, the guy there, Rudy, I think it was his name, someone like that, so, so something similar to that. Um, <laughs> I mean, he didn't really face any any judgment as well, any sort of judicial judgment as well. Never mind, it's not like him. I don't know. 
<laughs> I don't know anymore. I don't think I can compare it to anyone. Um, okay, let's talk about Toga. I freaking love Toga. And I don't, and I don't mean that in the usual Toga fanatics kind of way where I want Toga to stab me. No, not really. <laughs> I don't want Toga to do anything to me. I don't want anyone to stab me. That would be weird. <laughs> um, but the conversations that, that stems from Toga's existence is really interesting. Because we all know that Toga is most is probably the most misunderstood. No, I say Jin, and then a very close second is Toga to the most misunderstood member of the league. Um, yeah, and I'm not gonna defend that. Oh, she kills people, but it's okay because she has a traumatic past, huh? No, it's not okay to kill people. But the idea is that uh, they're so, they can be redeemed as well, kind of similar to Shigaraki, but especially them because. Shigaraki is kind of on the deep end of right now. So, um, something, something about Toga just not being able to control her work and her being considered a demon to society because of it is really interesting. And then we get into the whole point of the relationships that she's created. The relationships that's created through basically acts of evil. And because, uh, the, yeah, because it's like it's, she's doing something wrong. But is and she knows that what she's doing is wrong. But it's like she justifies it in such a way because they've never experienced what is normal. So yeah, that's a very neat, interesting. Okay, thing. Chao has some really cool control over her quirk now. Okay, let's talk about Chao a bit here. Okay, when I say that Chao has so much screen time, I don't mean the times where she she's. She's shown to be to have another side to her character, being cute and everything. I don't mean those kinds of stuff. I mean this kind of stuff. Where we've seen the I think this is the third time we've heard her say this, or fourth. Where she said that back then I could have done better. And then there's a, like a long flashback uh, to it. That's that's what I meant when she Ochako has too much screen time. <laughs> because she doesn't deserve it. Not that, no, 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 it's not that she doesn't deserve it. It's that other characters need to be put, put into that spot, I guess. I don't know. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I still like Ochako though. She's fun. A uh, completely different way I like Ochako towards freaking Toga, of course. Toga I like because she's uh, she has depth to her character. Even though it's not it's not crazy-ass depth that... Uh, it's still shonen female, female shonen character depth. If that makes sense, which is saying that it's not much, um, but it's still depth, and I don't find that in a lot of the other characters, especially the female characters in not just this show, but in a lot of shonen as well. Like, um, yeah, so this is very interesting. Okay, uh, the last bit I want to say is Toga just kept saying just. You, what do you mean by just? It's like her priorities are all sorts of whack because it's this knit, knitly, close knit group that she finally found herself, right? And to her, that's her own world, whole world, in fact. And everything about, about other than. Give me a moment. <laughs> Sorry. So, when in the episode where Toga stabs a bunch of people, a bunch of heroes while masquerading as the hero with the huge chompers. Um, she says that I want the world to only have things that I love, which is a very childish and immature thing to say, but it makes more sense now that I think about it because uh, her whole world revolves around whatever it is that accepts her. It's, it's made to be that way because when society decided to reject her entirely, only the things that accept her are, only, are the only things that are acceptable. And therefore, when whenever faced with some Whenever she is faced with a challenge towards that normality that she's had, she suddenly goes, snaps. And I think that's what makes her really interesting. Uh, and that's also why she did this. Like, she stabbed the little woman, or I don't know if she killed her, but she stabbed an old lady, definitely, and lured Oshako in. Like, that is a good point. Like, like, even though I say that, oh, I get it, I get it, you get it, you're being rejected by society, and therefore, you're doing this kind of stuff. But again, it's, uh, it's kind of hard to defend what you're doing when, you, you, you know, <laughs> you kill a bunch of people. Um, ah, I think that's it. Very good stuff. Ah, what else? Did you write anything else down? I don't think I did. 
Oh, no, 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 I don't think I did. Okay. Okay, I think that's it for me for now. See you next Monday, I think. So that's uh, that's when I upload these guys' stuff. Bye, ya! Uh.